Hi ladies, this is Nancy. I, I have another mini to share. Um, this one is um, in the shape of a teapot and the the adorable mini comes from the shop at Mini Album Scraps. And uh, you can you can see what else they all the beautiful items they have for sale in the shop at minialbumscraps.ning.com and I'll put that address in in the description as well. Um, Anyway, I decided to do my tea, teapot in um, an Alice in Wonderland theme because I've had fun doing Alice projects before and I just thought it would be really cute. I, I didn't necessarily make it into a photo album. It's, I, I was just having so much fun em embellishing the, the teapot that, you know, it's just more of an altered uh, mini book, I guess. Um, I don't really know if I would have photos to put in it. And <clears throat> anyways, but... Um, you could, and I'll show you how I, I made pockets. Now, it looks like we have an interruption here by Mr. Timmy. Oh. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, um, I've done a lot of details on this, a lot of stickling, and Timmy! Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm, kind of, I'm a little bit distracted now. Uh, Hopefully, also there are photos of this at the site, and I'm going to be uploading photos on my blog, which I'll put the address there as well. Jimmy, no. No. Sorry. Okay, so that's the cover. And also the this doily here, that's from the mini album scrap shop as well. Okay, that's the next page, or the inside of the cover. <clears throat> and each... um. Each layout I put on a, a circle of, of clear acrylic, and that way, you know, you can tuck things behind there. So I've tucked away little quotes, little uh, tickets, um, you know, anything you want. It's actually big enough to, to tuck a photo back there as well. And I did, um, I printed the rabbit here on a transparency and put it in a frame. And, um, I used a crackle stamp in the back of it. It, it was, I wanted it to look like she was looking in the a mirror. Um, but I guess I should have put her image over here too. Uh, that probably would have made more sense. But anyway, it's, it's cute. And um, she's all stickled. And there's some clocks there in the background and some bling and a lot of detail. Um, that The frame here, that's a Sizzix die. Uh, this page I used um, some clocks that also come from the mini album scrap store. Uh, the hands and the and the clock behind it that comes from from there and a uh, and a part of as part of another set that's really beautiful and, and works perfectly with this um, with this mini. And again, there's um, you know I've I've tucked tickets behind there. And I'm going to put um, if you're interested where all the images come from. You know, the Alice in Wonderland images, uh, you can find that on my blog. And again, I'll put the address underneath the video. And this is the next page. Um, each page um, after this, actually, on this page as well, there's a quote. He's saying, I'm late, I'm late. I started putting quotes on every page. I didn't on this page because it was kind of an afterthought and there was no room to put it. But I, I kind of liked that idea. Okay, so that's the queen and her, her quote. And uh, let's see, what else did I use from the shop? The doily. That comes from the shop. These doilies are absolutely gorgeous. and You can glimmer mist them, ink them. I decided to leave them, them white. They're beautiful just in plain white um, yeah, for this mini. And again, there's, there's tags and tickets. A little postcard tucked in the back. There's plenty of room back there. And this is a little... A little seven gypsies tag of a crown that I, I tucked. This this uh, page has um, actually three pockets. You can tuck behind here, you can tuck behind the doily, and you can tuck behind the acrylic. So you know it doesn't. You know it looks like everything is just covered, but there's really plenty of room uh, to do other things with it. Okay, this page is the is the uh, Mad Hatter, and <clears throat> this is a um, a little cup teacup that com comes with the um, the teapot mini and actually it comes with two cups two spoons two sugar bowls with lids and two teapots and I I actually um, 
lost a couple of the pieces that I had painted and I don't know my scrappy space is so messy that I don't know what I had them gl with glossy accents and I just don't know where they are so I'm sorry about that Gina I meant to use all your pieces but um, anyway so that's what happened there now this page is a pocket there's like a half acrylic sheet behind this rickrack is a pocket and then also behind the the acrylic circle and I have the Mad Hatter just kind of sitting in inside the teapot next page that's my favorite page because I love the Cheshire Cat and I, again there's there's um things tucked behind and that the Cheshire Cat itself I cut him out he's so cute I cut him out with my Cricut it was a free file I, I found you know just by googling um, SVG cuts the Alice in Wonderland and I did make some a, a little modifications to, to simplify him though because they the cuts were it was really complicated and unnecessarily and and then I <clears throat> I made this uh, fake brick it's just paper uh, that I inked and um, I used some uh, what did I use? So like liquid pearls to make the grout. I just kind of squeezed it in there. And the tree in the background is Tim Holtz um, dye. And I put some moss there. And there's a little bling on that page and, and you know, leaves and flowers. But I like that page. I like the color of the Cheshire Kitty. And on this I also, of course, love the Mad Hatter. And I loved this image. So that's him, and he's talking. I, I put him opposite the cat because he's saying um, the entire world is falling to ruins and poor Cheshire is off his tea. So um, I thought that went together well. Uh, now this page is where I was going to put one of those um, one of those cups that I had painted and lost. <laughs> and I, I just do not know what happened to it. And uh, this is another doily from the shop. And again, you can tuck behind the doily. And you can tuck behind the the acrylic sheet. And the last two pages, I have um, Alice um, coming to the tea party because the tea party's on the next page, and she's got a cake that's all stickles, and you know she's got her quote and lots of there's bling on that page and flowers and more bling and and some tags. And also, I think she can be tucked behind, yeah, behind the doily and behind the, the acrylic circle. Lots of room for tags. And then this is the tea party, and it's one of the teapots that I um, decorated. And another cup, and there was supposed to be a, a spoon on this page. Uh, another item among the missing. Um, oh, and I didn't say that, obviously, uh, again, this is a, a doily from the shop. I I just love those doilies. I'm going to order a whole bunch more. I just love them. Um, I actually, on this last page, I put the hatter and, um, and the rabbit hair, or whatever he is, on a doily. And they they tuck on the, this is a, another doily uh, folded in half um, and mounted on acrylic. Uh, that forms the pocket that that sits into, and I can't do it with one hand. And then there's tags um, behind them, tucks behind them. I don't. There's no. There's only a half acrylic sheet on this page. So I'll do another close up of that one, and of my the hair and the hatter, and I have them sitting in chairs, and they just slip right behind the the table but not with one hand <clears throat> now I still had there was two of each die cut so I still have this is what the creamer looked like I didn't decorate this one I was kind of so frustrated that I didn't find my my original one that I had painted and then the, the teapot um, I didn't didn't use so but that's what they look like so cute and both spoons are among the missing, or I'd show you them, but they also are adorable. You can see the set at minialbumscraps.ning.com. And for my next project, I just a little sneak peek. I'm doing a dog bone mini, also from the shop. And this is the beginning of my cover. It's not going to be your average uh, dog mini. Um, <clears throat> I wanted it more elegant. 
um, and the little cameo dog profile came from the shop and there's also a doily from the shop um, back there so I'll be showing you that in within the next couple of weeks so um, you know visit my YouTube channel thanks for watching bye